This appeal is not about chat, tiny homes. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. I'm Rob Berry, attorney for the appellant. Pardon me. This appeal is not about chat, <clears throat> tiny homes, transitional housing policy, the pit survey, campfire refugees, or homelessness. It is about land use laws and building codes applied to a, an unprecedented housing development on private land. Hi, I'm Bob Troush, founding member of CHAT, Chico House and Action Team, and this evening at the City Council Chambers, we're going to have a Planning Commission meeting, and it's about our Simplicity Village, whether that can go forward or whether it will be stopped. There are different levels of people that are fighting Simplicity Village. There are people who really have concerns, and we can mitigate those, because we know when Simplicity Village happens, those people will be happy with what we've done. But there are also people who are obstructionists, who don't want anything to happen. Simplicity Village is a housing development. <clears throat> to say it is based on town, tiny homes is a misnomer. It is based on sleeping units of a particular type they are not single-family homes, permanent emergency shelters, temporary emergency shelters, and most importantly, they are not facilities at all, temporary or emergency. All Chico ordinances are subject to the constraints of state laws with jurisdiction over a particular subject matter. For land use, construction, and occupancy of housing, the general plan and the building, build, the, uh, building codes have jurisdiction <coughs> over every new development within Chico. There are no exceptions. If it doesn't fit under one existing law or another, it is not allowed. My concern is for the 35 employees at our Chico location. What the future may hold for Payless as a company should, should city staff continue to allow this illegal use of land. Our employees, most of whom live in Chico, pay taxes and contribute to a viable Chico. Our hours start as early as 5 a.m. and run as late as midnight. These hours are imperative to keep our business competitive. It will only be a matter of time before the residents of Simplicity Village will be complaining about these, the noise of our equipment at these early and late hours. I'm sure we will be asked to change. A change in hours will mean lost business, which in turn means layoffs. I am a current resident of Paradise, I mean of Chico. I was burned out, and I'm delighted to be in Chico and to be a supporter of CHAT. Um, we have a lot more than 400 homeless on the streets now. That was before the fire. Mr. Barry shows up and says, here's why you can't do that. Here's why you can't do that. Here's why you can't do the other thing. There, there are ins and outs, and he's an expert at ins and outs. We have human beings who are living on the streets. I've never lived on the streets, but I know that I would be scared to death to do that. People deserve a way to protect themselves and nobody who is homeless can possibly get themselves and the wherewithal to become a contributing citizen. If you're not safe, you can't function. And our community is full of people who are struggling to become functioning. And some of them are, are disabled, and that we can't necessarily fix but we can make them safe. And I ask you, please, go for whatever you can do to make more people in our community safe. Thank you. Ms. Woods? Yes. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, thank you. I have a lot of company. 
Let's be frank here, though. The opposition is disingenuous. We all know this isn't about this project. It's not about zoning. It's not about chat. This is a small group of people who see providing services for the homeless as detrimental to our community. And they'll do anything that they can to prevent any and all projects from moving forward. This should have been green lighted five years ago. We should have 10 of these by now. Instead, we have obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And <clears throat> I want to say that there's a group of people in the city who they really don't want homeless people in our city at all. They don't want to provide services to those people. They don't want to provide housing to those people. And so they will put up obstacles to everything that, that comes along that offers any kind of services or any kind of housing. Um, they want to maximize and create the most punitive environment that they can, which only means that people on the streets suffer more, end up hospitalized more, end up in Butte County Jail more, end up dying sooner. This, this, this issue is deep and it's multifaceted and I really think that it's a shame that we're wasting time here tonight on this, on this appeal. That's how I look at this. And so <clears throat> I think as a community, we need to dig deep and I think we need to figure out how to move in a direction really decisively away from this kind of mm, really homeless hatred. Thank you very much. We are so pleased with the decision. It wasn't easy. We're a human community. We're a group of people that actually care for those that have less, and we're going to help them. And that, to me, what is so exciting about this evening, that we actually have a ruling that allows us to go forward. We know there's more steps to be taken, but we're confident that the City Council will follow what the board here of the Planning Commission has done and said, yes, Simplicity Village should happen, and we're so excited that they've ruled in our favor. And we're going to continue to move forward. We're going to continue to educate. We're going to continue to house people because that's our job as a community, to take care of those who have less and those who are struggling for whatever reasons and take them out of homelessness and put them into houses.